Hey everyone, come down to uh, Albury today. Um, last time I was here, there were some uh, nice gold pockets. Uh, I managed to find a couple of silver coins in, so a little look through those as well as uh, fossil hunting today. So it's a lovely day, sun's out, probably the warmest it's been fossil hunting all year. So yeah, get down there and see what we can find. I don't know if you can see what the sea looks beautiful. Right, if I find something, I'll uh, let you know. Just to uh, reiterate, in case you haven't seen on previous um, videos, Olbra is not a place to bring children. It's uh, difficult to get down, and there's uh, explosives on the beach. Um, they washed out of the cliff when it was a uh, trading range during the uh, war. So yeah, not a place for uh, kids. So, I spotted this interesting nodule. Actually, straight away, very golden. Harpotherus, I guess, isn't there? Oh, nice. Oh, got some more. Fortunately, most of it's gone. That would have been a nice one. For sure, I'm not hitting that. I'll take that home and get that prepped. Oh, yeah, made up with that. Beautiful. I'll just find this over here. This is an interesting shape. What do you think that's got to have something in to be that shape? Too good. Well, I can't see any signs. So yeah, we're gonna have to give that one a hit. Come on. I'll see if I can do it on camera. Interesting looking nodule. Out of the clay, oh, it's a perfect shape. Something sticking out there. I'm guessing that's a shell. Um, so yeah. We've probably took about two minutes. Is there any? Oh, very shiny. I'm guessing that's a uh, pregma cone from a bellamite. A lot of shine to it. Nice.
market where all the heavy material on the beach is washed into the same place. So you can see you've got bits of bull's gold there. That's from uh, a shell, I think, from uh, the chain range that was there here. You've got fishing weight. Metallic objects, but I don't know of what they are, seeing as it did used to be a uh, shooter range up there, and all the uh, shells are falling down onto here, which is why there's a big warning at the top not to uh, pick any order at all. But we'll give that a uh, crap and see what's in there. And there was nothing in there. Okay, spotted a good fossil, it's an ammonite. Spot it. And this doubler. Expecting very much. See a little ammonite there, and then also a bigger one there. I'm going to give it a few more taps and uh, see what I can get out of it. So there wasn't anything else in there, but I have managed to get it down to a smaller size. You can see it starts there, it goes around to there. So let's see if we can uh, put that out at home. I love seeing these big rocks with the uh, scrape marks all down it, which shows that they were uh, the glaciers that came down in the Ice Age, which created all this material here, all this was carried down probably from the uh, North Sea during the last Ice Age, and all the rocks that were caught up in there scraped along the uh, ground, all the boulders and just you can see all the scratch marks from where all the rocks have been over them and yeah, just fascinating to think that all this material we see on the whole Ness Coast was all inside a glacier 10,000, 20,000 years ago. I don't know if somebody's had a hit already or if it's just fallen and broken like that. Some interesting signs in there. So I think I'll give that a hit and uh, see if there's anything else in there. Okay, so I've already got one. It's taken out. Yeah, let's see if there's any more in there. Okay, so it's all broken up now. Let's get a few bits out. That one. Good hunt, found uh, a lot more stuff than I was expecting, to be honest. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, then do please make sure you uh, like and subscribe. And then I'll uh, carry on making some more. So until next time, catch you later.